Hi, Ian here. Uh, normally I'd say Ian for Camponi and Rail Line, but this time I'm saying Ian for uh, Ian Wood Turning. And I thought I'd just give you an idea what I do, I guess, as a hobby hobby. And uh, that's turning some wood or doing woodwork in general. Anyway, uh, what we're doing today is we're going to turn a bowl, a natural edge bowl. Uh, it's out of apple wood. And there's a piece right here. Basically what I did, and this is very small, but it's, it's Karagana actually. Uh, we had a cutting out of the, uh, the, the tree, and I cut that in half, which gives me a chunk like this. And then from there, all I've done is taken and just rounded off in the bandsaw here, just around like this. And once it's fairly round, then I go from there over to the lathe, and we mount it in the lathe getting it, uh, you know, so it's fairly well balanced. You can measure it and put a mark on each side, get it balanced, and then just uh, turn it by hand, and you can actually see the piece. If it's going like this, you know it's out of balance, so just kind of get it so it's fairly close to being straight up and down. And then with that, uh, what I'll do is I'll get some tools here, and uh, we'll start cutting this away. Okay, so back again, I don't know whether you can hear me over this, but uh, what I'm going to do is start turning this down, getting it nice and round, and then once we get it nice and round, uh, we'll start making gold. See it's round now. Uh, a little bit of smoothing to do on here, but uh, other than that, we're pretty close. We're going to just uh, we're going to smooth this out now with another chisel. This is a dangerous one. It's a skew chisel. Or skew S K E W, and you make a heck of a mess or a real fine job. Uh, I hope you can see this or not, but like get right down into it and you see just, it's nice and round, nice and smooth, but there's just some ridges in here. And that's what we want to try to get rid of, just the ridges to smooth it out. Back it off. We've got it uh, pretty smooth. What we'll do is kind of shape the end a bit. I, I just didn't want to be fooling around here trying to smooth this off once we, we uh, narrowed it down. So what we'll do is take and kind of shape this in 
just to the bottom part of a bowl. It's it's not going to be a like a drastic cup like a regular bowl. Just a, a bit of a round here, and then what we're going to do is uh, put uh, a tenon on it so that we can put that in the jar jaw of the uh, device and turn it around, and that way we can hollow out the inside of it. So with that, what I'll do is just start shaping. Turn it around. Let's clean it out. Clean it out now before we clean it out later. uncooperative. You want to get the uh, you want to get this centered up so your tool, the bottom of the tool, you have a pinhole. You won't be able to see it, I don't think, but there's a pinhole here where it was sitting in here. So actually, it's sitting in the other side, but the pinhole there, you want to get it so the bottom of your tool is in line with the pinhole.
tiny bit more. Just if you don't do it that way, your tool will be jumping all over the place. All right. bring the camera around and you can kind of see the inside of this now. It's called a natural edge bowl because you're getting the natural edge of the wood and here we got a couple of like there was a great big knot that was going to pop out anyway so I took it out. I've got a little bit of a, a catch here so I'll have to uh, just work on the top here a bit and grind it down to that. The inside of it uh, I, I some people will grind them right down to about an eighth of an inch, but myself, I don't like doing that. I like to big leave, you know, a good sturdy, not not that big. That's what a quarter inch, so probably three sixteenths of an inch will be the the finish. So I'll be working away at that. I want to get this down a bit further in here, but it isn't a very deep bowl to start with because it's only about maybe two and a quarter inches, two and a half inches from the uh, the low point. Not even that. Two inches max from the low point, so we got to cut that off yet. So uh, we don't want to hollow it too far. We'll just make kind of a, a good looking little bowl here and uh, clean that up. So what I'll do is we'll cut the camera now. I'll clean this up a bit and then we'll uh, pick it up later. All right, thanks. Okay, so I just uh, shaped this just in here a bit to give it a bit of a, a shape to the outside of it. Uh, we're getting awful close to thin on the top here, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, hollow out the inside just a tiny bit more and then uh, we'll have a look again. So as you can see we got it down, I've got it, uh, I don't know, probably down to about there on the inside. And that'll give us a nice base, we can cut it off here. Uh, it'll give us a nice heavy base so you can put something in there, I don't know, a rose or something. But it's, uh, you know, they're not really meant to hold a lot because of its natural edge. You can see just going around here, and here's where the, uh, the knot was. Uh, with, I guess to imagine this, if uh, we took a regular tree, here we are. All this is the reverse of a regular tree, so here's this. This is really, there it fits right in the groove there. So that's what this side looked like before. So it was just the bark and that. So what you've got is when it dips here, you've actually got the round from here. So it's just, uh, I guess, a reverse of uh, what you started with. But it does it makes a nice, uh, nice looking edge. And uh, I'll clean this up a bit, we'll sand it a bit, and then we'll polish it up and uh, we'll see what we end up with. Well, yeah, I've kind of switched out of my helmet. I just put regular safety glasses on. And I still got my train man's hat on, so I guess I'm still a train guy. But uh, with that, what we're going to do is sand this off a bit now and uh, get it even smoother. to get the sound for helicopters. OK, 
okay, looking good. I don't even know if I mentioned this before. This is apple wood. And it's looking good. It's gonna, it'll take, uh, it'll take, uh, I, I don't want to put a stain on this. What we'll do is put some, what's called tongue oil, and it's the, it's the oil of a tree. Uh, and plants, I guess, mixed together, whatever. But it, it uh, the wood absorbs it, and it comes out to a, a real nice uh, sheen on it. We'll put two or three coats of that on, and then we'll put probably just some uh, regular uh, polish on there, wax polish, and that should bring it out real nice. I'm just uh, I'm going to sand the center of this out a bit because I I think we'll use a bit of help there. And once again, all it's just a disc on the end of a drill. The lathe turning one way and this turning the other. So we'll uh, load off and put some polish on there, or whatever they call it. Okay, so we've got some tongue oil here, and it's 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 T U N G, not T O U I N G, but uh, good stuff. So we we'll put a little bit on the cloth, and if you look at the the color of this. And watch the color in the camera and watch the color change. Just like bumping shoes. And there you are. It's a nice dark color now. Uh, it'll it'll soak right into this. So what we're going to do is leave this uh, sit for about a half hour, and then after a half hour, come out and put on some more. A uh, couple of coats should probably do it. I'll just get it around the edge here. That's it. So we'll let this sit for about a half hour, come out, we'll do it again. And if we get it looking real nice, maybe I can sell it and eat again tomorrow. Alright, we'll cut it for now. Alright, back again. This is dried for about half an hour. Now you can see, I don't know if you can or see not, but uh, you'll see dark and light spots on here. The, the shiny spots is still on top, uh, gone back to almost the wood here, so it's sunk right in. And uh, so we'll give it another coat here and then leave it dry overnight and then come out tomorrow and uh, finish this off. Turn it down a bit, go a little faster. See it shining right up there. Your hand bounces a bit, but really, all, it's just bouncing away from the wood. What you don't want to do is it's rested on there. That, that's hard on the hands, but. Sneak in behind it on the bottom. Okay, so we'll leave that tonight, let it dry up real good, uh, come out tomorrow, and uh, we'll finish it off. So with that, I'll say good night to you and see you tomorrow. Hi, Ian here again. Uh, we're back at our, our work piece again. Uh, it's actually been more than a day. It's been a couple of days. Something came up, uh, but uh, we'll uh, finish it off today, hopefully. 
what we did the other day, remember we uh, put some oil on it and uh, what happened there was uh, the oil raised the grain in the wood a tiny bit so I'll just re-sand it again and we'll just get rid of that raised grain. So with that I'll sand it and uh, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, through the magic of camera, it's uh, done already and uh, it's gotten rid of the, uh, the raised grain. So what we'll do is finish it again. Okay, once again, we're back to putting tongue oil on it. It's getting real sticky because the tongue oil that was on there before is, is dried and uh, if you put new stuff on, it just starts pulling at it. But, you just have to fight it a bit. Okay, we'll let that dry now and we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, the tongue oil has uh, dried up, so what I'll do is buff it a bit. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. No, I, I think I make it a little shinier. So with that, we'll put on some, uh, some called Turner's Polish. Lee Valley used to make it, but I don't know if you can buy it anymore because uh, I couldn't find it on their website. So, uh, we need... Something to put it on with, I guess. What we'll do is just okay. A little bit does go a long way. Okay, we'll let that dry now and then uh, come back later. Alright, we're all polished up now. It took the polish real well. So now comes my fun part. If I'm going to have a problem, this is where I have it. and It's, it's parting the, uh, the actual piece from its holding stock. So, we'll give it a try. on there and with the top it came out pretty nice 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 looking bowl so we'll see if we make a dollar out of that anyway that's how you turn the bowl thanks for watching hi Ian here with just a bit of a, an addendum to our little movie 
And here's a picture of the uh, the bowl we just finished turning together. It's a natural edged uh, bowl, a little apple. And you can see the edge on it. It came out real nice. And just a nice little bowl. A couple more things I made out of the same uh, apple log was uh, this one. It's kind of a it's it's a natural edge bowl, and then it's glued to a, a bit of a uh, pedestal, I guess you'd call it, or base. I made for it, and I just plucked a flower in in the uh, top of it. Looks real nice. And another just little bowl, natural edge. Uh, and that's all I got out of that uh, little apple log. I didn't have much of it, so I made do with what I had. And then just the other stuff uh, we have here, so we'll have a look at that. Alright, some of the other things we have here, there's uh, uh, three, first three vases there, that's uh, black ash, they call it. And then uh, we move over and we're into some caragana. And you wouldn't believe caragana would look like that, but... So we've got one, two, three, four, a little box, uh, my version of the uh, Calgary Tower, and you put a little tea light in the top of that. A little Christmassy thing there. And uh, basically three candles, and I've just glued some Christmas lights in the top of that. Doesn't uh, It's not electrical, it doesn't work like that. Uh, then we're moving into some maple. We have a uh, candlestick, another candlestick, another and another. And in the front there we have a just little box with a lid. Another little box, just a tiny little thing. This is all uh, actually reclaimed maple. Uh, where it came from, there was some cases, some old wooden cases that were headed for the dump years ago. And uh, I, I salvaged them, they're all broken. Uh, headed for landfill, so I, I salvaged them and uh, lo and behold they were made of uh, maple. So I took the maple, planed it, a lot of it I've joined. A lot of it was legs on the uh, the table itself, and I've turned the legs into little bits of maple. And then uh, next to that, we've got uh, what have we got? Oh, we've got ash. Uh, just I guess a white ash you'd call it, as opposed to the black ash. I don't know. They're both white, but one's called black ash, and one's uh, one's just plain ash, I guess. And but it's a uh, uh, oak and ash laminated together. And that's those ones right there. So I kind of just, uh, I'll go in spurts I guess with wood turning. I'll, I'll, I'll turn like crazy for a while and I'll, I'll, I won't feel like doing it anymore. And then all of a sudden I'll feel like doing it again so I get back at it. Anyway that's, uh, that's kind of what I do is my second uh, hobby. This one I hope to make a bit of money out of by uh, selling it at different things. I guess I'll have my craft sale up here. That's what I'll do. So anyway, that gives you a little look at uh, what you can do with a lathe and uh, a little bit of salvage lumber. With that, I'll end this now. You have a good day and take care of yourselves. Bye now.